Hi all, Chris here today. I've got the innards of a small five and a half inch black and white personal television set here. And I'm just going to show you some of the effects of magnets on a picture tube and the deflection coils. So, here we go. First off, start it up. Now, as you can see, the picture's kind of cropped in a little bit. Oh, too much fiddling with the tube, I guess, did that. And first of all, I don't have any proper magnets on hand, but so I'm just using a magnet on a from an old speaker, and you can see what it does when you put it up against a phosphor screen. Put it near the sides, and you see you can see the effect it's having. Just bearing in mind that I've got a um, conductive coating and now li live metal attachments on the outside of this tube so being very careful now putting the magnet near the deflection yoke funny thing is I can actually feel the speaker vibrating right now I don't know if that's Kind of a magnet, the deflection yoke, the deflection coil, magnetic field pulling on the speaker, but so now we can see that the um, effects that the magnet can have on the screen. Now, just bear with me for a minute while I remove. For wiring for the deflection coil, you can see it here. Not very well, but so I shall just quickly desolder that, which will leave us with just a small illuminated phosphor in the centre of the screen because there's no magnets to pull the electron beams. So, and there we have it, no, no more deflection coils. Okay, switch it on again and let's have a look. You can't see very well but there's a small, small illuminated patch in the screen there now. Put the magnet near the screen, and you can, oops, you can kind of move the, uh, move the uh, phos, the um, glow around a little bit. Kind of like something you'd see in one of those Disney Pixar movies. But anyways, put it, put it near the deflection core. You can move it all about the screen, and slightly enlarge it a bit. Now. Somewhere I've got a nine volt battery here. You'd undoubtedly be from familiar with one of these. Now let's try using it over here. Okay, give me a second. Apparently, but. 9 volt battery is a bit too charged up for the likes of this experiment. Here we go. A slightly more dead battery. Now, you can see I've... You can see that by placing a battery on the two of the terminals I can adjust the, um, the horizontal sweep of the phosphor or of the um, electron beam and by reversing the polarity of the battery I can um, adjust it to the other side of the screen. So that's kind of cool isn't it? That shows you how the, deflections yoke, the deflection yoke works. Strangely, the um, vertical sweep, the vertical sweep doesn't seem to want to work. So, I'm not sure if I've got too much voltage, too little voltage, whatever. But yeah, 
yeah, I just thought that was kind of cool to show you. And just remember, don't try this at home. For the love of God, don't. Bad things can happen if you touch the wrong part of this tube. Burn. Yeah, so anyway, and just while we're done here, uh, let's see. Also, crap. Also, just give me a second. You can also have some fun effects as well with this, with just some of the trim pots on the circuit board. Some of them are seem inactive, but. So, just bear with me for a moment while I solder them, the wires back on. And it's a good idea to turn the, turn the tube off first as well. I don't want any nasty shocks. There we go, and one more wire. Okay, let's see if our deflection yoke's working now. Well, deflection coil, depends on what you call it. And I've tuned the telly so it doesn't make the typical high voltage, well, not high voltage, but the typical hum in operation. Now the picture's kind of distorted, the coil's probably moved, but let's see. Oh, here we go. The, the, um, the trim pots on this particular set aren't labelled, which kind of sucks for my purposes, but, oh, nothing a bit of experimentation can't fix, so, you can see that by, Oop, wrong one, you can, you can see, um, it covers more of a screen now, but, makes it annoying, high volt, that annoying high pitched whine, so, I think I'll leave that down. Now by playing with one of the other trim pots, you can see what happens. And it, and yes, it's not the camera. It is noticeably brighter down the bottom. But turn the brightness up a little bit. And I believe right now I'm playing with a the um, vertical hold, I'm not sure. But yeah, there we have it. Just a just a bit of fun with a little old spare um, black and white tube I had lying around, so and as far as I'm aware these other two trim pots don't do much. I don't do anything, excuse me. So Yep, there you have it, and just remember that um, working with something like this, you're playing with high voltages and um, exposed um, conductive surfaces, and yeah, just don't ever do this at home, so to put it simply. Anyways, hope you all have a nice day. I'll, see, I'll post a video later on, I hope. Cheers, Chris.